Alrighty, here we are, June 4th, 2022. Look at this jungle. These pumpkin plants are coming along pretty good for something I didn't even plant. Let's take a look. There's a little one on that one. Oh, right down in there, there's another one. Couple more down in there. There's one way down in there. You know, I'm assuming they're pumpkins. I'm pretty sure they are. Anyway, I can't even walk through there anymore. And there's Osti with his two cents. And look how tall all these sunflowers are getting. Oh, there's trouble. Passing through. I wonder Ossie's upset. So I still got some oregano, a little bit of basil and lettuce in there, some chives. We've had some heat, so lilies aren't going to make it too much longer, but there's still a few of them looking nice. Peppers and tomatoes are doing good. Here's some romas. Uh, I think those are 10 fingers of Napoli or Napoli got some jalapenos uh, believe this is my Peter pepper ooh and we have we have some Peters growing oh yeah these are some funky looking peppers can't wait to get some larger ripe ones we got a lot of tomatoes actually picked a whole bunch yesterday. I should have brought my harvest outside so we can look at it, but I'm sure we all know what ripe tomatoes look like. More jalapenos. These plants are doing really good. Lots of green tomatoes. Some of these plants, you know, tomatoes, they get various diseases and whatnot and start to yellow and Try to clean them up the best you can. Got some Fresnos. Look at that. This one's been pretty productive so far. And like all peppers, they'll pretty much turn color. In most cases, red. And here we are. We're at the hatch red. They're not red yet, but look at those. I love these peppers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This thing's about seven, eight inches long. Uh, I think it, yeah, it was this tomato plant I picked off. Two of the big ones on the bottom were ripe. Looking good. And here's some, uh, Anaheim, I believe. Very large peppers. Look at that. Two of them in there. bunch of different bells in here and a bunch of beans. I've picked a whole lot of beans. I got a huge Ziploc. I blanched and froze. And I can't wait to do something with them. And look at those bells right there. There's two of them on that plant over there. Really doing good. These are uh, sweet roasters. Oh, sorry. Interesting. Long and skinny, kind of like the hatch red. These were uh, Mana Ganji. And there are some little skinny ones too. Looking forward to those. Some of the zucchini like this one is just struggling. And I'm pretty sure it's just because of these two huge sunflowers that are way taller than me. But look at these. Oh, here we go. Back to some lilies. 
get ahead of myself. So again, with the heat, they won't last too much longer. Most of them seem to be this peach color, but there were some of these orange ones. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Look at that. Well, we got a little tiny bee or something on there. But I love these sunflowers. Look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Along with all these lilies. Now this one was supposed to be a steak sandwich. I picked one the other day. It was right down here, but these are not what steak sandwiches look like. Look at this. So it'll be interesting. I'm sure they're good either way. Some more in the bottom. Look at this giant sunflower. And these side shoots are coming up on three feet long themselves. I mean, we're probably 10 feet tall. <laughs> That's just crazy. Well, I bought a couple more peppers today. This one is a Impala Serrano. Um, I had some poblanos in here that I was hoping to overwinter, and they just didn't do anything, so I needed some more serranos. My one serrano that I did overwinter for a few years now hasn't been doing a whole lot. A lot of green ones on this one. Um, here's a poblano that did overwinter. Still not looking too great, so we'll see. And here's the other Serrano. It's actually a double plant. Uh, Altiplano is the name. So we got two stems. And more tomatoes over here. Looks like it'll be a, a yellow variety. Oh no, when we have the dreaded blossom and rot. foe of every tomato gardener. Oh, look at this Jedi um, jalapeno. Look at the size of this one right there. Good four inch long easily. Nice stuffer. It's gonna be good. Uh, get some golden zucchini. Nice. Get a little Failed one right there, I gotta pluck off, but we still got lots of flowering. Oh, and there's another one right there. Still kind of small, but perfect. There's some more little ones developing. Very good. Ah, uh, that damn white moth will be laying all these cater or little caterpillar worms. That will do all this damage. Yep, and something is really eating my dinosaur kale. I'm gonna have to spend some time out here and look for them. Wow, I had no idea it was getting this bad. Oh, my little sunflower forest. Man, these things are huge. Seven, eight feet tall. Look at these, beautiful. A lot of them are just still budding. Still got a ways to go. Like these, just buds forming. So a lot more flowers. Here's another one. They really like these raised beds. These stalks are huge. Look at that, I mean, this darn tree. And we got all these little buds everywhere. So when they bloom, it's really gonna look cool. A whole bunch of different varieties. Some are smaller, some are huge. Yeah, look at all these buds. 
And some of these are really cool because these stems can be long enough. This one's already done. I'll save these seeds. And they're great for picking. This tomato's struggling a bit in here. And again, I'm pretty sure it's these sunflowers that are competing with it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? This one, uh, I do remember this one is a pork chop. Should be a yellow variety. Hang it in there. Beans are doing pretty good. These should be the Cherokee Trailateers. And you can see we have some. In fact, I need to probably look around and pick some. But they're starting to go up the cage. Over here, I'm gonna go up the trellis and hopefully take it over. Cucumbers are going up the trellis. There's a little one right there forming. There's a few here and there. There's another one. A lot of flowers. And that's about six or seven plants in there. This is the Kitchen King pole beans. Definitely me need to pick some of these. They get pretty big though. Uh, you don't want them too plump. You want them just right. So I'm not sure if this I thought this was a pole bean. It's kind of looking more like a bush, so we'll see. Either way is fine. It is producing quite a few beans. And onions. Pretty much can start picking these. They fall over like this already. So we got red. Uh, these ones might be chipping and leaning. I'm not sure if I'm saying them right. There might be a Texas early grano on the side. Only one in this one for some reason. You can see they're bulbed up pretty good. Not too huge, but pretty decent. I don't mind. They're great. The price of a seeds. I get a packet of seeds for two bucks now with free shipping. So you can't you can't beat it. Usually a couple hundred seeds. Yellow crookneck. These things are slow, but they're coming around. You can see one right there. Plants not too bad looking. Just wish they were bigger like the ones that work. The Black Beauty, I don't see any on there yet. We got some flowers, but it's coming along. Strawberries. They're little bugs. I like to eat them though. Probably the local possum. And there's another Black Beauty. This one's doing a little bit better. And you can see there's one down there, but I don't know if that one's developing or not. Again, we got some more flowers, so it'll come along. That is pretty much the garden. Just tons of growth. Absolutely beautiful. And quick look at my tomatoes back here. Now these yellow ones have been producing most of what I picked the other day were from back here. You see, there are tomatoes right in there, all over. This is all one plant. Now the cherry tomato might be mixed in a little bit, but I don't really see any of those. It's another ripe one. In fact, the cherry tomato doesn't look too good. It might be done. Although it does dry up over here. It's been here a couple years, so usually the ends are better looking, but it might be done. Now this thing just popped up. Probably is going to be a cherry as well. So that'll be my new cherry tomato then.
anyway, this is leftover from last year. It just came back. And here comes the sun. Anyway, this is my garden for June. Look at all this stuff. Look how tall those sunflowers are. Crazy. Anyway, until next time.